Bucks will get the first possession. All right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. And Phoenix, look at who they've got on the floor. They've got Robinson. And it's Jeff Penny, the shooting guard. Well, historically, the Suns have always been a more offensive-minded franchise, but their lack of defense really came to harm them last season, Greg. Just couldn't get any stops. Yeah, the Suns had a tough time challenging shots and then preventing easy baskets. Most of their struggles as a team started on the defensive end, helping the worst opponent field goal marks in the entire league. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finished hard with two hands on that stuff. There's a screen. Johnson against Kidd. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Nice work on the inside. Hard to get that one up and over the big foul. Fearless. Despite the size mismatch, took it right to him. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. The Spurs shooting their first free throws of the game. And their success rate on the season right around 77%. And the second free throw, good. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Johnson over to help. Right side kid. Wide open look. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. Kid's got his second bucket of the night. He's the first of a lot of mid-range jumpers that we see. Could be. Be willing to give that one up, and that mid-range jumper is his favorite. And now, in transition, it's Kid. Here we go. Count it. Just a great job of attacking on the break. Yep, he got up ahead of steam, and no one could come over to stop him. Johnson, the pass to Duncan. Del Negro back to Duncan 13 feet away and yep and it comes after rolling around the rim and a big height advantage right there and sometimes it's not just the height it's the flow in the shooting motion extremely effective from the mid-range cloud pass to Robinson he kicks it to McDice here's Chapman no good from outside and close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Now the dish to Robinson. Back to Johnson. Taken away by Kidd. And now Kidd pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Lays it in off the breakaway. Kidd's got six. You know what? He wasn't going to wait around for any help on that break. No reason to wait. That was all his from the get-go. There's 117 left here in the first quarter. Here's Duncan. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. Phoenix has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Here's Kidd. Gets the front of the rim and out. For San Antonio, they've gone 3 of 4 from the field to start out the game. Here's Johnson. And the goal he looked like he was in rhythm to shoot that one, guys, especially as open as he was. He just claimed it. He had pretty much unforced there on the bad pass. He has to just make better decisions on the delivery when he's getting it to his teammate. Del Negro picks to Duncan, and Duncan throws it down hard. Take it out strong, big fella. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Kid dishes to Johnson. Johnson draws the up. Williams for three. No good. And the Spurs taking it the other way. Here's Johnson. Now in the scoring column with that deuce. One for two this game. Really aggressive play there. Taking it to the rack against the big fella. Well, even the dentist would tell you that's a sweet move for that lay in. And yeah, you got to love his tenacity. He gets that one. Johnson's got his first bucket of the night. Always pushing the action offensively. He puts so much pressure on the defense. Here's Johnson. Takes it off the glass. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Spurs lead by three. Live from the AT&T Center in San Antonio, you're watching 2K Sports.
Jeremy Lin, a player who's come a long way. Um, I wasn't sure, you know, if my career would ever pan out the way I was hoping for, or if I would be able to stay in the NBA. Well, in a game filled with some pretty big egos, there are also guys like that who are living the dream in their own very grateful way. Lynn has certainly seen the highs and the lows. And, and, and Kevin, not everyone's a superstar and, and, and certain of their future. Sometimes you get to be a superstar for a brief moment in time, but, but this game has a way of humbling people, even those who started out humble, like Lynn. So far, just the start they're looking for in this game. Solid offensively through the first. Well, they snuck out to the lead partly because of the play calling, largely because of the execution. On the court right now, second quarter starting for the Suns. Ryan is out there with Williams. Then there's Scott. Then it's Johnson. And it's Nash in at the point guard. Rose, he's checked in for the Spurs. Jackson comes in for Del Negro. Robinson passes to Johnson. Left side Rhodes, six on the shot clock, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Johnson. Uh, last season we had Kobe's retirement, but in the offseason we said goodbye to another legend, the terrific Tim Duncan. You know, Greg, there was talk he might hang it up, and he felt that he didn't have any more in him, and called it a career after 19 incredible record-breaking seasons. Yeah, and, and Timmy retired in the most Duncan way possible, just quietly let it happen in the midst of the summer. No farewell tour or any of that. A big hit to the game of basketball to see one of the all-time greats walk away, but arguably one of the best two-way players who have ever played the game. But this has been a thriller. You cannot say enough about the way these two teams have competed. I'm just impressed by sheer relentlessness these teams are showing. Neither side giving an inch. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. We all remember Lynn's sanity, don't we, Kevin, a few years ago? Jeremy Lin is indeed the NBA's first American player of Chinese or Taiwanese descent. He's had to overcome his share of skeptics who thought he didn't look the part of an NBA player. In fact, the first day he reported to Time Warner Cable Arena in Charlotte, he had a hard time convincing the security guard to let him in. And broken new ground, too, DA. Thanks. Both teams will make substitutions. San Antonio shooting their third free throw shot of the game. And so many teams now playing trying to kick off edge. Dribble penetration is at a premium. Some players use raw speed. Others just have that feel. What makes, in your opinion, a great slasher? I think a slasher who really is good at catching the defense off stride, Kevin, is one that just has tremendous time. A guy that understands his teammate and when it is that his teammate is going to recognize where it is on the floor that he's going to be and when it is that he needs the ball in order to be an effective shooter. Sometimes without any words, no communication, just a look or just a feel. Just a quick glance and, mm -hmm. you know, they'll do that two-point dance and all of a sudden that possession's over. Bang. Purdue, he's checked in for Robinson. San Antonio trailing here. Ah! Jackson in the corner. Here's Rose. Pass to Purdue. The Spurs rebound. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. And what a gutty play. I mean, muscles his way to the rebound and then just pounds it home for the foot. Well said, G.A. The battle on the board so hard can go a long way toward deciding this game. Especially when the game is this close, you recognize with your instincts the opportunity to help your team out. Just never flinched. The Suns making a change here. Kids checked in. Now he has to back off on defense just a little bit. His team cannot afford to have him on the bench at this point in the game due to foul trouble. For Phoenix, they have made three free throws so far. They haven't missed any. So he gets them both. Nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. He's covered by Kidd. Down low, Rose. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. This is his first chance at the line tonight. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 
last season. And Brent, you look at how the Spurs played last season and any other season, they might have had the best record in the league. Well, they did have the best record that Greg Popovich has had as a coach for San Antonio with 67 wins. And it was under the radar because of the Warriors' historic mark last year with 73. But it was the first time in history that the NBA had two different 35-win teams at the midway point of the season. It set up the stage for an epic showdown, and really some people let down that that never happened. Not real happy with the shot selection on that one. Yeah, you want your guys to attack with confidence, but that's just a bad look. Outside Jackson passes to Purdue. The Spurs have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. That free throw, no good. Shooting for San Antonio. Will and he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Kid, no good. Well, sometimes when you're that wide open, you start to overthink it, and it looks like that's what he did there. Johnson outside. Person kicks to Johnson. Duncan left side. The way up missed. Well, the defense knew exactly how to play his man there. An outstanding effort. And we're through the first half of basketball here, and what's been a good one? It's the Spurs. They lead by a bucket. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. It's the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille. What a start for Tim Duncan. He had eight points and two rebounds. Kenny, what was your take on San Antonio? Well, they showed a lot of discipline on offense, called some high percentage plays. Even when the defense devised different looks, they always seem to have the answer. That's good coaching. Chad, what'd you think about Phoenix? He's gonna get more aggressive on the glass. Over the first half, we saw them being schooled down low. You know what I'm gonna say, Ernie, barbecue chicken. If I was coach in the locker room right now, they'd be getting an earful. Extra rebounding, effort will pay off in other ways. The energy is really where it starts. Something like that, Ernie. It is just about time now for the third quarter to begin. After the final buzzer sounds, the three of us will still be sitting here talking to you. Actually, there's four people. The third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. One of the top stories here, Tim Duncan getting it done today. Just a dominating performance in the post by him so far. Just tearing them to shreds when he gets it inside. Yeah, is there a shot down there that he didn't show them? I'm not sure. Let's see if the D can make some adjustments here as we start the third quarter. We've got Del Negro. Robinson is out there with Duncan. Then it's Elliott. And it's Johnson in at the point guard position. It's the San Antonio Falcons. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Kid against Johnson. It's stolen by Duncan. Here is Elliott. Back to Johnson. Duncan left side. Here is Elliott. Kicks it out to Johnson. The pass to Robinson. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one fall. Robinson's got five now. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. There's a screen by Robinson. That's a two from Kidd. That one's not going to go. Great tee that time from Johnson. And they continue to control the glass. And Vinny Del Negro with the three. And now it's a nine-point Spurs lead. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. A club. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. For San Antonio, they've gone three or five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Johnson dishes to Robinson. And now Kidd pushing it up. No one back to stop him. 
a piece of it. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. Persons checked in for Elliott. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Offensive rebound. Here's Chapman. Robinson with the block. Here's Del Negro. Out of bounds. Phoenix will take possession. And Phoenix making a change here. Johnson's checked in. Brent, when you played, you were one of the best passing wings in the NBA. How did you come about developing that, that play style, that skill of, of feeding others so well? Huge influence for me, Kevin, growing up was Pistol Pete Maravich. I watched a lot of tapes, and maybe people out there remember old VHS tapes of uh, homework basketball that Pistol Pete put out, and I watched those incessantly and went out in the driveway and tried those things. And then eventually frustrated every coach that I played for. <laughs> but I had an innate ability to see the floor, some peripheral vision that I tried to use to my advantage, and uh, I enjoyed always making the play for the next guy. And you both came from basketball families. His dad was his coach at LSU. That is correct. And uh, although Press wanted people to shot And you? And I, I was more of a pass first guy. Yeah. I think with my dad, he took all the shots away from his teammates. <laughs> I wanted to be a better team. He took a family's worth of shots, right? That is correct. <laughs> and I spent years making up for it. And some changes here for the Spurs. Rose comes in for Tim Duncan. And it's Jackson in for Del Negro. And a change for the Suns. Ryan's checked in. Johnson kicks to Jackson. Robinson passes to Johnson. Shoot it. Shoot it. Robinson, that's good. Robinson's got six here in this quarter. He's just so efficient, getting his points within the flow of the offense. Great recipe for success. Nash kicks to Scott. It's up a three. Rebound San Antonio. Robinson's got rebound number five here tonight. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of touch. And he banks in the lane. Robinson's got the lead up to nine now for the Spurs. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Johnson kicks to Scott. Back to Johnson. Takes a three. And the Suns miss again. Now Jackson. Johnson with it. And another basket for San Antonio. And from an offensive standpoint, they have just been stellar. And no matter what adjustments the defense has made tonight, they've had an answer every time. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Spurs. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. Suns trailed by 11. And Phoenix, look at who they've got on the floor. We've got Johnson, and it's Jeff in here, the small forward. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Two shots. Second free throw, no good. And Antonio leading by 11. Johnson outside. Pass to Purdue. And lots of contact here. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Wow. Wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. And that one misses. And the Spurs making a change here. And he's good on the second. Suns trail by 12. And out of bounds as the Spurs. Possession. Yeah, not a highlight real play there. He needs to be aware of where he is on the court at all times. Rose a screen on kill. Outside Jackson. Pass to Purdue. Here's Person. Ice ball boomed by San Antonio. To the inside. Just find the shoot. Let's it go from 11. A rebound by the Spurs. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Feeds it to Rose. 
Knocked away. And the dunk by Rose. Look at his man just go flying by him after the shot. That's how we play the game. Bring it in. Let's go. So good on the other side. My goodness. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, guys, during that last break, I listened to the Suns coach address his team. And he tried to pep him up. He said, look, nobody said this was going to be a cakewalk. We knew they weren't going to back down or go away. So if we want wow. this game, we got to take it from them. A lot of fire from coach during that speech, Kevin. Thank you, David. <laughs> Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Got a piece of it. Right side kick. Break now for the Spurs. Here's Person. Now here's Jackson. To the middle. Here's Purdue. Puts it up. Rebounded by McDonald's. Suns trail by 12. Here's McLeod. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. for three. Kid. That one doesn't drop. That's the Spurs taking it the other way. Purdue with a screen on Kid. Outside Jackson. Shot clock at six. The pass to Purdue. Hits the mark. Kid grabs the board. Suns trail by 12. No question as to which team gave a better effort tonight. A dominant performance and an outstanding win for San Antonio. This was a physical, physical game. Yeah, I mean, they were aware of the rotations defensively and were able to attack the rim. And what a huge standout performance it was for Robinson. You know, fellas, if we put this one on tape, we could send it out as a clinic. It was awesome. Physically and mentally, just dialed in. And when you got a guy with his talent able to out and help think everyone else on the floor it results in this kind of dominant performance. And with a move like that off the pitch, you have got to knock that one down. And the play was executed exactly as you draw it up until the very end. He's kicking himself. Well, that fast break went according to plan. If these guys are focused on making a push with the basketball, they can be very good. The feet now to Jackson. Spurs need to get a shot off here. Purdue, no luck. Phoenix, another fast break opportunity here. Johnson in the corner. Pins the three. And so they foul intentional. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. And he cannot convert on the second. Oh, time this is time out. Time out call the Suns. Get over here, guys. Hustle up. Let's talk. Three seconds left to play here in the fourth. What's your take, guys? A tough proposition here. They've got to knock down a, a three foul. Force some misses and make another three. I would not hold out much hope. And so it's San Antonio with the win. They didn't make it easy on themselves. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Welcome back, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. So is the Jet. Without further ado, let's take a look at our... You know, tonight he put up his high for the season. Found his rhythm. Never let up. Just a terrific scoring effort all the way around. He loves playing in front of his home crowd. He looked like he was having a blast out there. And he gave him a lot to cheer about. Whether he was scoring or doing something else, he was involved in so many big plays. I'm floored by how well he shot the ball. He was unstoppable. I don't mean just the points. The ability to create opportunities for himself and then deliver, now that's a superstar effort. And that is a wrap, everybody. Thanks for joining us this evening.
For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Ernie Johnson. See you again soon.